Hey everyone, Alex from O'Brien here. Angled screw channel abutments have continued to gain in popularity over the last few years, and in this video I'm going to give an overview of the options available and also talk about some of their limitations. There are a few different styles of angled screw channel abutments, but by far the most common is the titanium base. And many implant manufacturers offer these bases, such as Strawman's AS Vario Base and Zimmer Biomet's Flex and Express abutments. There are also third-party manufacturers such as DES that make angled bases for a variety of companies. So even if the implant system you work with doesn't offer an angled solution, there may be an option available. Regardless of the manufacturer, the titanium bases are all very similar in design and use. They're all used for screwmentable style restorations where the crown is fabricated with an access hole and then cemented to the base in the lab. They're typically between three and five millimeters in height, which is usually tall enough to provide adequate cement retention and short enough to fit in most spaces. Some companies do offer multiple heights for better versatility though. Strawman, for example, has both a 3.5 and 5.5 height for their bone level implants, and Zimmer Biomet's Flex Abutment has an adjustable height between 4.75 and 12 millimeters. One thing to keep in mind with the titanium bases is that they typically only have one margin height option, and this can sometimes be an issue for deeper placed implants. The width of the base, in addition to the thickness of the restorative material, can cause excessive blanching or even bone interference. In addition to the titanium bases, some companies do offer other angled screw channel options. Instead of a stock base, Denseply offers custom angled screw channel abutments through Atlantis. And these Atlantis abutments give us greater control over the design, including the height, margin placement, and emergence profile. The ASC abutment from Nobel BioCare is a two-piece abutment made of a zirconia top, which is mechanically retained to a titanium base and doesn't require cement. The ASC abutments can be designed as full contour zirconia crowns or with cutback for stacking porcelain directly to the abutment. They can also be designed as a zirconia custom abutment for a screwmentable crown. The dynamic abutment sold by Preet is a plastic castable UCLA style abutment, which allows the lab to create traditional screw retained full cast and porcelain to metal crowns. The top portion of the dynamic abutment is rotated to the desired angle position, and then wax is applied directly to the abutment for casting. These abutments are available for several systems, including Nobel BioCare, Strawman, Zimmer, and Astra. There are some limitations and issues that are shared by all of these abutment options. For one, there is a limit on how much we can change the angulation of the access hole. It does vary a little between each system, but in general, it's about 20 degrees. That means that we may be able to correct a case where the access hole is coming out the incisal edge or cusp, but not if it's through the facial or buccal surface. And another thing to keep in mind is that even though the screw channel is being angulated, the abutment itself will still come straight out from the implant. And this can create bulky contours on the facial of the crown depending on the placement of that implant. The crowns will also require a larger access hole, which is necessary to allow clearance for the screw as it's tilted during insertion. A smaller access hole is possible, but if designed that way, the screw will be captive inside the crown once it has been cemented to that base. You would still be able to tighten and loosen the screw, but in order to replace the screw, the crown would have to be separated from the abutment. One aspect that all of these abutments have in common is that they require a special screwdriver. The reason for this is that the angle of the screw doesn't change, just the angle at which the screw can be engaged by the screwdriver. And in order to engage the screw at an angle, a driver with a ball end must be used. And there are two variants that are used depending on the manufacturer, the ball end hex and the ball end torx. Between these two variants and their range of sizes, there isn't a lot of cross compatibility, which means you'll need a separate driver for each type of angle screw channel abutment that you use. And if you're not interested in keeping track of that many drivers, we're always happy to loan them out to any of our customers. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, feel free to contact us with any questions. See you next time.